Hi guys, um, I'm just making myself a drink and then I'll be here. So we're gonna listen to one more song and then uh, we'll get started and play some more of the council. So you've got time if you need to pee, if you need to grab a drink, if you want to pop a toaster strudel in the toast, I don't know. Whatever you got to do, you've got a couple minutes. I will be right here in the, in the, <laughs> I don't know. I was going to make a Batman joke and then it it fell apart. Okay, bye. Hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the stream. How are you all? Happy Monday. Happy beginning to your week. Unless you're in a time zone where it's basically Tuesday. Then never mind. The week has already begun hardcore for you. Um, all of the music that we listen to today is from an album called Zelda Remixed that a bunch of lovely, lovely artists are on, including Besso, who is one of our mods in chat and the person who puts together all of our music list. So um, definitely check that out when it's officially out in the world. Pathmater, thank you so much for the two years. Happy anniversary. And the Solar Man, thank you so much for the 14 months. It's been Tuesday for an hour. Need to start earlier. <laughs> I need to start earlier. How's it going, everybody? I hope it's going amazing. I, uh... <laughs> I took a little longer than I was supposed to because I looked in the mirror while I was making my coffee and I realized that the shirt I was wearing was like kind of see-through <laughs> and I was like oh probably shouldn't wear that on stream it's probably a bad idea so I swapped shirts real fast and it was adorable I'm very glad that I did because when I went into our bedroom um Sam's mom was on the phone talking to Clark and it was adorable <laughs> it was so cute I can't stay around for long. I'm in the middle of building a coop, but I'm looking forward to this game. Will feel like a like a chicken coop. If so, that's real cute. I'm making guac for the first time. Wish me luck. It's gonna be amazing. You can't mess up guac. This guac is gonna change your life. You're gonna be like, oh my god, I can't believe that guac is this easy and so delicious. <laughs> At least that's how I felt <laughs> the first time I made guac. I was like, I should never buy guac. This is so easy to make. A chicken coop. What? Oh, I need pictures of chickens immediately. And Marion, thank you so much for the 16 months. Tyka the Tank, thank you for the seven. And Rafid, thank you for the 21. I'm home alone for a week. Do you all trust me to keep my house clean? Edward, are you typically a clean person? We don't know, like, the base information necessary in order to actually, like, place bets here you know was Clark named after anyone we got the idea for the name from uh the show the 100 the main girl on the 100 is named Clark um but Sam gets really offended when people are like I hear that your daughter is named after the girl from the 100 and he's like no <laughs> we got the idea for the name from the girl after the 100, but we, she's not, they're not, <laughs> we didn't love that show so much that we named her after the character from the, it's different. <laughs> Can you do a recap of the last council stream? I didn't watch the last part. I was honestly trying to remember what even happened last time that we played. Uh, hopefully it'll, it'll give us a recap, but the recaps are like, the recaps don't like show things. Does that make sense? So I'm hoping that when I watch the like, when I watch the little recap, that I'll remember a bunch and then I can give you a detailed one. This name is to commemorate and memorialize the 100. Mm, yes. It was weird. That's all I remember. I honestly like don't, I can't remember at all what was going on. Last time. I remember how the first part ended, but I don't remember how. Oh, wait, I do. Wait a minute. I totally do. Oh, my God. Oh, that's right. Oh, fuck. 
I do remember, but we're going to, I'm going to, we should watch the thingy and then we'll watch the thingy when we load up the game just in case, like it tells me a bunch of stuff that I forgot about, but, oh, that's right. I remember things. Syndrax, thank you for the 18 months and Peach Macaron. Thank you so much for the biddies. I'm probably going to hop off when you start playing because I'm super behind. Yeah, that's why I'm not like launching right into talking about the game because we're not like at the let's play the game right now point yet. But when we're like popping open the game, we can start talking about what we remember. Bring back the cyberpunk statue. No, <laughs> I refuse. Yeah, I painted I painted my nails. They're like kind of like a metal-y color. I got them in a in a mint mongoose. I've I've kept up with my mint mongoose subscription because it's just great. I don't buy jewelry for myself, so it it winds up being kind of awesome, and I use a lot of the jewelry. Um, but yeah, they they were like, "Hey, as a thank you for being with us for so long, here's an extra gift," and they gave me this nail polish, and it's real pretty. I'm a fan. I had my nails painted like like pink for um the wedding but I don't know if it's because sometimes some nail polishes don't go on super thick if that makes sense like like Welcome, you even though they you put on like the two normal layers Rondo, you can still kind of see through it so Aaron and I got the exact same color of nail polish and Aaron got them in gel, and I didn't because I was like, uh, I don't really want to commit to this pink color for a long time. Like, I don't know if I'm going to like it or not. So I got it normal, and she got it as gel, and hers looked incredible, and mine were all, like, choppy and kind of see-through, and I don't know if it's because I didn't go with gel, but um, I, I kept it for a couple of days, and then I was like, hmm. I don't like that it looks really messy. Yeah, that thick polish, you know. You know. <laughs> Barossa for Barossa, thank you for the 28 months. The Bink Live, thank you so much for subscribing and becoming a new member of the Cat Gang. Mod Hugs, thank you for the four months. And King Varence, thank you for the seven. How's your cute little devil doing? Are there any firsts that you're excited for? Um, she now refuses to stay on her back, which sucks. <laughs> At that point, it's you, you're like, you're basically out of the zone, the newborn zone where you're like, I can just set you down on a surface and walk away if I need to, right? It's not like you're going anywhere. But now, if I set her down on her back, she's instantly like, <laughs> like, no. <laughs> so, um, yeah, she, she, a long time ago, like in month one, was able to push herself over when she's on her front and doing like tummy time. But it's a recent development that anytime she's on her back, she at least like gets onto her side. So, um, yeah. So that's a thing. That's a that, that's one of those firsts that people get really excited about, and I don't know why because it means oh no, <laughs> they're gaining. They're gaining the ability to move about. I don't know how I feel about that. Um, but overall, she's doing okay. I think that she was kind of poorly the last couple of days. She's, like, happy and smiling and seems fine, um, but has moments where she, she's she been, like, spitting up a lot. And I don't know if that's something that I ate or if she's got, like, a little tummy something. But she's been okay so far today, and she was okay last night. So I'm hoping that she's fine, but baby look emotion. Step one, literally. Yeah. is like, can I get up? Can I like move from this position to a different one? Then you're hosed. You're hosed. It's over. How baby proof does the house at the moment? Not really at all because she can't, she can't like walk or crawl or anything yet. So there are no like, edges of things that are protected or anything she can't even like if you try to hand her something she can't even really grab it 
you know um if we take like like the little uh the little dumbbell rattle if we take that and try to put it into her hand she's just like and we're like no op open open your hand it's like and then you finally get it in there and you're like now close your hand and they close it and then open it over and over <laughs> you're like no <laughs> So she's not she's not even at a stage where she like understands how to use her hands properly at all. She's just she's just like in a big old hurry to be running, even though she can't do it, literally anything else. <laughs> Avi, thank you for gifting a sub to Buttsack. Buttsack, welcome to your fourth month. Lillian Luna, thank you so much for the host. And Neil D. Mac, thank you for the 13 months. She doesn't want to show her true strength yet. She's just flexing. Mm, yes. <laughs> it's very silly. It's very silly. She's cute, though. Um, the first, like, laugh, like, like actual laugh that I've ever heard from her happened this morning while I was holding her, and she was asleep. She, like, laughed in her sleep, but I've never heard her laugh in, like, awake time and that was bizarre that was so strange to me i was like what the fuck like her whole body was like convulsing her mouth was like ha 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 i was like what your first laugh is while you're asleep <laughs> very silly only dreams amuse her Baby. Rugalo, thank you so much for the three months and Wild Goose Chase. Thank you so much for subscribing and becoming a new member of the Cat Gang. It's always cool to watch a baby figure stuff out. I agree. It's been very fun. It's super cool. My nephew grabbed my glasses every single time. I was wearing, so Sam and I, while my mom was in town, Sam and I went on a day tow. It was very nice. And um, I was really excited because I had these super long, like, dangly earrings that I got from Mint Mongoose. I had these super long, dangly earrings that I hadn't worn ever because I knew that if I just wore them in, like, a casual situation with a baby around, she would, like, <laughs> she would fucking yank that out of my ear so quick. <laughs> so I was like... This is the only time I can wear this. This is the only time I can wear these earrings is when someone else is holding my baby and I'm in a different place. <laughs> She's dreaming of world domination. It makes sense. Who isn't? Am I right? Talking about Clark is way more entertaining than I expected. I'm glad. My dad has fake teeth, so he would act like when he pressed on his stomach, he would pop them out. Her figuring that out was the best thing. Oh, my God. That's amazing. <laughs> Gumps Gang, thank you for the 22 months. My kitty has some kick and stank breath. From what? From tooth stuff? Any good colostrum talk today? I feel like we exhausted that. Yeah. I feel like uh, there's not really anything more to say about colostrum here, but you know. <laughs> we went to a steakhouse. There's a, there's like a nice place that we tried to go um, a long time ago. And when we got there, I might have, this didn't happen so long ago that I wouldn't have probably talked about it on stream. So maybe some of you will remember this. We tried to go on a date like last year sometime. And when we got there, um, all of the lights were out like for the entire block, like every light had gone out. And so we got there and we were like, um, <laughs> we're here. Uh, we have a reservation. And they were like, oh yeah, we're sending everybody home. The lights are busted in this area. So, uh, yeah, so they gave us a bunch of gift cards and then sent us on our way. 
So when we were talking about going on a date, I was like, well, normally like we go to Italian or we go to sushi. Like what's something we haven't done? And I remembered, oh yeah, there's that steakhouse we were going to go to like forever ago. And I totally have gift cards. We should go there. When I looked at the gift cards, it turned out that they expired last year. So didn't get to use those, but the meal was delicious. <laughs> I've been following you for ages, but I often miss streams because of UD slash work. I'm finally catching a stream talking about Clark. Aw. Sorry. Sorry, Alex. That was not about you. That was not me being bored with your comment. Thank you so much. <laughs> Gift cards expire. Um, it depends on the company. I thought gift cards were supposed to never expire. No. It like, if it says never expires on it, then yeah, you're good. But there are plenty of gift cards that say they do, especially like in this situation. So these, these gift cards had a specific restaurant number on it. So you could only use it at that restaurant. And they had a like a, a specific date that they were good until um because they were obviously like gift cards that were specifically for like hey i found hair in my food or hey how come the entire block has no electricity right like those kinds of situations so it wasn't it wasn't like we bought the gift card right we were given the gift card as a sorry please come back by this day <laughs> My house cat hoodie arrived from Yeti and it's so nice. Oh, I'm so glad you like it. I go back to college in two weeks. I don't know if I'm ready for the life drain. I do not miss school. There are things about like college, university, even high school <coughs> that I miss, but I don't miss like going to school. <laughs> um, a bunch of us. So... I've like recently started using my Facebook more again. Um, oh my God, what is wrong with me? Uh, and for some reason, a bunch of people from college, like a bunch of people that I that I went to university with, we all started talking about um, our theater history class. And no, it wasn't theater history. It was theater theory. That's what it was. Same teacher, same room, different class theater theory and uh um and we started talking about how cool it would be there used to okay look <laughs> there used to be a huge section in theater history that was um everybody taking different movements like art movements and explaining how it affected theater um so we covered like Dada, surrealism, like all of this stuff, right? Um, futurism. Futurism is the best one. Let's be real. <laughs> Anyways, so <laughs> so everybody like was in groups and had to like explain how all of these different art movements affected theater specifically. Um, and uh, we were talking like somehow we started talking about that. And our teacher from that class, our professor, like joined the conversation and was like, yeah, we don't do that anymore. And we were like, what? <laughs> because it was the best. Like, it was like the best part of that whole class. We were like, no, you have to bring that back. And then it spiraled into, you need to bring that back. Not only that, you need to bring that back and then perform it on the main stage. And you need to invite alumni to come and watch. <laughs> We were like, we want to go. We want to come and see what the current generation is doing with these classes. <laughs> um, yeah, and now I keep thinking about it. I'm like, man, I really hope. It would be amazing. It would be so great if he was like, yeah, you know what? Sure. Any alumni who want to come and, come and heckle the new, the new kids. It would be so great. We were feeling pretty cool because... Um, what was I trying to say? We were feeling pretty cool because our professor was like, yeah, you know, so there's some stuff that I dropped because, um, the like classes that came after you weren't quite as into it. 
but like your generation of students was so all in on everything so you know i should probably bring it back like it might be like those sorts of things that really got you guys engaged you know and we were like that's right all the kids that came after us sucked ass we were amazing <laughs> Was he a hard marker? Yes. He was one of our more difficult professors, but he was also like, it was that perfect balance, right? He was very difficult. Um, he like really wanted you to put in the effort, but everyone loved him. Everyone loved him as a professor. It was incredible. I was like, typically there are people who hate a professor just because they're tough, right? Everybody loved Michael. Have you seen the fairy tale anime? I have. I have indeed. Ayago Lender, thank you so much for the biddies. Mendeler, thank you so much for the 11 months. And Anthem, thank you so much for subscribing and becoming a new member of the Katugangu. <laughs> After you had the baby, did you have any weird mood swings? <coughs> no, I haven't I haven't had any like postpartum depression or mania or any of that. Um, fortunately, there have been moments that I think are totally natural, like totally normal to have just in general, where I'm just like, oh my God, am I totally out of my depth here? Like, <laughs> was I ready to have a baby? Jesus Christ, there's a lot going on. Um, but over my like overall mood has been totally fine, fortunately. Are you expecting to go to any gaming events in England at any time? Um, we'll be visiting England more often just because, um, you know, half of her family is there. And we want to make sure that both families are getting lots of time with her. Um, but we haven't we haven't talked about going to, like, specifically events that are in England. Although it would be a good excuse, right, to just be like, yeah, it's for work. And then we'll drop the baby off with family and peace out. My favorite manga is Vinland Saga. It's so good and everyone should read it. <laughs> I wish I had it here. Normally, when I was at the office before, anytime somebody would ask me this, I'd be like, my favorite manga, you ask. And then I would get up and grab it. But I can't grab it right now because it's still at the office. But it's called Vinland Saga. It's entirely about Vikings and it's fucking awesome i promise to post chicken pics to twitter for you thank you sorry that was probably loud thank you good luck on your coop is it like berserk um it doesn't have any of the like fantasy elements that berserk does it's like the artwork is very detailed um and it is a violent manga because it it covers like periods of war and all that um but i wouldn't say that it's disturbing the way that berserk is it doesn't like it doesn't do things that make you feel like i need to step away for a minute <laughs> you know <laughs> it's just a really good story it's ongoing Although, when I first started reading Vinland Saga was right when the mangaka took their first hiatus. And I was like, no. <laughs> I got so into it. I read everything that was available. And then I was like, wait, they haven't put out a chapter in like a long time. What's going on? And I went to look it up and everybody was like, yeah, it really sucks. You know, they're a little sick. So hiatus. I was like, no. No. We have Red Kingdom. Yeah, not all of it, but yes. Yeah, they announced that they're working on an anime for it, which blew my mind. I can't wait. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's Villain Saga is like currently coming out again, so... Is there a manga you want to get into someday? A manga I want to get into or 
manga that I want to get into. There are so um, Benji has actually become my like incredible manga friend, which is amazing. Um, he DMs me manga all the time. It's awesome. He'll be like, "Hey, I found this random manga. You should try it out. There's only like ten chapters, but it's pretty cool." And uh, so I wind up reading like the first few chapters of a lot of random manga. And every now and then I think to myself, oh, fuck, I should go back and read more of that. Because Benji showed it to me when there was, like, nothing out, right? There's one that's, like, gorgeous that's about um, witches. It's beautiful. Like, some of the best art, like, detailed art that I've seen in a manga in a really long time. And when I was reading it, I was like, oh, my God, I can't believe there's only a few chapters of this out. I want to read this forever. And now, sitting here, I'm like... Oh my god, I bet there's a bunch of chapters of that out now. <laughs> Wait a minute. Hold on, I think I have it marked on my manga app. Guys, I found out. <laughs> Sorry, that was intense. I found out um, that both Sam and I are due for upgrades on our phones, and I was like, we're doing it! <laughs> we're doing it! My phone has started doing this thing. I've been complaining for a while to you guys that my phone will just like shut itself off randomly or that it'll like black screen basically. Um, so the new thing that it's doing sometimes is here. So like say that I wanted to like boot up my phone, right? So here's the screen. It'll just show like the time and that's it. I'll like click it and everything will be black, but just the time will show and it won't let me log in. <laughs> I'm like, this phone is dying. <laughs> it's bad. Okay. Mango. My mango app. I love that wallpaper. Thank you. I also love this wallpaper. Okay. My favorites. Tongari Bushi no Atori. It has 18 chapters. I have so much to read. Tangari. Hold on. I'll type it in chat. Tangari. Bushi no Atori. There. Um, it has 18 chapters now. Last time that I read it, it had five. <laughs> I'm so excited. Can you tell us how the switch to Android goes? I want to hear about switching from iPhone. Yeah, absolutely. I did it before. I had an iPhone for a long time, and then I switched to an Android, and it broke. My Android phone broke twice. So I like had one that broke, and then they sent me a new one, and that one broke. And then I was like, fuck this. I'm going back to iPhone. <laughs> but um, we both really want to try out the Pixel, so... Yeah, I think I use my phone to death is the problem. Like, I constantly max out the amount of space that it has. <laughs> I use it to do, like, all of my work stuff. Like, I'm basically constantly on my phone. I don't want to be. I've been trying to make an effort to, like, leave my phone in other places of the house while I go about my life so that I could just be like, I don't have my phone on me. If somebody, like, sends me a message, it's fine. Like, it's fine. It can wait. Um, but, uh, yeah. Pixel is the only phone that has ever made me contemplate switching from an iPhone. I Yeah, everybody seems to love it, so. Then I don't know, Stoob. My phone's just dying. I don't know. I don't know why mine's dying so much quicker than yours. I want a Pixel, but I don't have Verizon. I could switch, but nah. Verizon isn't the only one that has Pixel. Um, the like, you could do the, the Google phone service, but if you mean just in general, you don't want to switch, I get that. Ooh. 
If a phone is dying, wouldn't it mean there's actually a broken physical part? I don't know, but Welcome I want a new phone. <laughs> Is this a regular schedule? By that, do you mean, do I normally stream at 8 a.m. on Mondays? Yes. If it's old, it might be battery degradation. My phone, like, if I charge it all the way and I use it, like, a normal amount, if I'm, like, on it a decent amount, it'll last for... I'm trying not I'm trying not to be hmm I'm trying to think realistically how long it would last for not being just like a drama queen <laughs> on a full charge my phone can last like four or five hours and now it's started doing the thing where it just like shuts itself off whenever it wants even if there is technically still battery there so i don't know it's bad <laughs> yeah that's bad right i'm not just i haven't just like like i've gotten used to a an amount of time that my phone will stay alive that I think is not okay. <laughs> Welcome, you um, Spoopy Sparrow, thank you for the 31 months. Aura Harako, thank you for the nine months. Happy Twitch baby. Saiyan Adam, thank you for the two years. Happy anniversary. I appreciate it so much. Lee Scoresby, thank you for the 43 months. JCB, thank you so much for subscribing and becoming a new member of the Cat Gang. And CZ Cosmic, thank you so much for subscribing as well. I appreciate it, guys. My phone does that. It can be at 50% and just turns off randomly. Yeah, it's weird, right? Like, well, why? Do, why? <laughs> why this? That's why when I go to, so when you're at a convention, um, your phones work so much harder, right? Because you're surrounded by people who are all trying to use like the various networks at the same time. Um, if you've ever been to a big convention like Comic-Con and your phone just didn't work, that's why. It's because everybody's trying to use their phone at the same time. So nobody's phones are working, right? Um, when I go to conventions, I basically just turn my phone off because I know that the second I get there, it's just like, I have about an hour with this phone. <laughs> I have about an hour before this phone is going to just explode. <laughs> Mine did that, but it stopped after I updated. My phone is always updated. It's just a, it's just a sad boy. Is the council supposed to mean something? It is a game. We are playing the third part of the council today. I'm very excited. That's the network, not the phone. I'm assuming you didn't hear the end of the story. <laughs> the council is Sam's nickname. That would be a really strange nickname for him. They should have phone booths at Comic-Con. They'd make bank. Dude, isn't it crazy? I think often about the sort of things that were normal when I was a kid that are not normal now. Like, I don't know anybody my age that like that is in like their own place, right? Like not living with parents. I don't know anybody my own age that has a landline. Like a like a landline telephone. Everybody just has their cell phones. Um I can't remember the last time I saw a phone booth. It's weird. That shit's weird, man. Do they have phone cards in the U.S.? Uh, yeah, you can buy phone cards. Nobody really does, though. Or at least... I've only ever bought phone cards when I've been in other countries to help me call home easier. I 
Vanquished, thank you for the four months. Golden Gift, thank you for the four. And Erogami Chan, thank you so much for the seven months. Don't you need a landline for certain internet lines? I have no idea. The way that ours is set up is we just have an internet line. Yeah, yeah, that totally makes sense. Because not everywhere has good reception, right? My parents, their the farm does not have good cell phone reception. Does not matter what kind of cell phone you have. It's like if I send something to my mom, I know she's probably going to get it like a few hours later, right? I'm at work, so I'm lurking. Have a fun stream. Aw, thank you, Robin. I have a landline, but we have it unplugged. It's just telemarketers that call it now anyway. Oh, no. They're actually talking about conserving the old phone booths in my city for history. Huh. Interesting. You were right. That guac was amazing. Now you can make guac whenever you want, muscle cake. The dream. I miss the old kitchen phones with the super long cords. That's what I imagine, right? Oh my gosh. I can imagine the exact phone that was in our kitchen for years, right? Now they have, my parents have um, ones with like intercoms on them, which is hilarious. It's so cute. So like, they're like these little black phones. They are landlines and there are two landlines at my house. Um, uh, one, one of, okay. The reason that there's two landlines at my house is that one of them belonged to my grandfather while he was living on the property. And then once he passed away, my dad was like, well, I guess this will just be, this will be the number that I give like, you know, anybody that, that needs to come and work on the house or whatever, you know, like farmers that need to get a hold of us. Um, and that way you'll know if somebody's calling that number to just leave it and I'll answer it. So that's kind of what they decided to do with those two lines. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, so they now have it where they have these little, these little black landline phones there's one in the garage where my dad hangs out and there's one in the kitchen. And when my mom needs to tell my dad to like come in to eat dinner or something, she'll just like pick up the phone and hit the little intercom button and be like, hello, honey, dinner is ready. <laughs> I have the phone. It's so cute. <laughs> um, they, uh, they also said it so that I guess birds chirp when I call. <laughs> I don't know. They were like, we gave you your own ringtone. It's birds chirping or something like that. And I remember thinking to myself, like, is that because I never shut up? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like my grandparents. <clears throat> my parents are in their 70s, so. But they they love having a way for my mom to not have to, like, <sighs> walk out of the house walk into the garage dinner's ready walk back into the house you know they they just love the ease of it i do have siblings yeah i have a brother and a sister they're much older than me though well much older than me. My brother's 11 years older than me. And my sister is 17 years older than me. And I'm about to turn 31. I'm very excited. <laughs> I'm very excited. Um, Flip Chick, thank you for the eight months. You're the only streamer I've subbed to for so long. Oh, thank you, Flip Chick. I'm so sorry that I burped while I was reading that. It was not, it was not very conducive to the sweetness that we're experiencing right now moel thank you so much for the two years happy anniversary thank you so so much and digi asian thank you for the 13 months how are you doing i've never heard of an age gap like that oh yeah oh yeah oh my god you're so young 
I'm at that prime mom age. <laughs> yeah, having my mom around was awesome. Like, I was exhausted, but it was awesome because my mom is like, my mom is more like I am in that she she like notices things that need to get done all the time right but for me I've like kind of gotten into the habit of like seeing something that needs to get done and being like really need to take care of that but then I stress myself out by every single day going really need to take care of that I really need to take care of that I really need to take care of that right like but never actually like addressing it and my mom is much more of a and I, I think that this is just kind of a, a habit thing right because I used to be this way because I lived in a house where everybody was this way <clears throat> I think I've just gotten out of the habit but like when she sees something that needs to get done she's like we could do that today all we need is this and this we should just do it let's just do it and I'm like yeah let's do it <laughs> like uh, yeah let's just do it I guess so we did so much work in the backyard that I've been staring at for I don't even know how long. I've constantly been like, man, I really need to get like a push broom and like sweep out there. And it would be really nice to have some bark dust because there's just like, there's all those like weird little weeds that are popping up in between stuff. And it just doesn't look very good. And the water level keeps getting lower. And I really just need to get a hose so that I can like raise the water level. And I just never did any of that. Right. And my mom looked out there and was like, you've got like a, you've got like a, like a Home Depot or something that we could go to, right? Like it's pretty close, right? We could get everything that we need. We should just do it today. I'm like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, we should just, yeah, we should just do that. <laughs> so by the last day that my mom was here, she was like, you're very tired. I can tell because we were doing stuff like every day because my mom would just be like, let's just do it. <laughs> I'd be like, yeah, let's just do it. And by the last day that she was here, I was like, I need to just, I'm just gonna, we, I can't do anything today, mommy. And she's like, okay, I get it. <laughs> but it felt good. It feels really good to look out there now, you know, and be like, oh my gosh, I did some, I did some goddamn work out there. Your mom's like a hype man for chores. <laughs> she is. She totally is. And I want to be that way more, you know? Um, I think like Sam recognizes that sort of like itchiness in me and tries to help me relax. But it's in in my mind now, it's created this situation where I'm like, yeah, I don't need to do that. You're right. You're right. I can just relax. I don't need to do that right now. And he's like, yeah, just relax. Just like, you don't need to do that right now. We can just chill right now. I'm like, yeah, we can just chill right now. But then, you know, I chill on that task forever. <laughs> So I need to just like, I need to become my own chore hype man, right? I need to get back into that mindset. But I appreciate that because Sam knows that I can stress myself out sometimes. So it comes from a place of like, it's okay to just relax. It's fine. You can just sit. It's okay. We have a fucking baby. It's okay to be exhausted right now and not want to do that. That's fine. I'm like, you're right. You're right. But then I take it too far, right? So, <laughs> um, Kim Dead, thank you for the 21 months. Major, thank you for the 11. IR Whiskey, thank you for the 35. Trid Bites, thank you for the 11. Cyber Trouble, thank you for the 2. And Denebrod, thank you for gifting a sub to Lane Pavogi. What's up, Lane? I didn't even see you were in here. Welcome to the cat gang. How are you, dude? How are your streams going? She's got that plus ultra going on. Fuck. I need more plus ultra. <laughs> Why do something today you could do tomorrow? Fair. Lane, fuck. Were you here when I was talking about my cat trying to kill your dog on your stream? It's funny. I was watching her vlog miss and I was like, man, Dodger just goes and does stuff that she needs to do. It would inspire me to be more like that because I struggle with that. Oh, thank you. Yeah, maybe I'm too hard on myself. I think, I think there are tasks that feel doable 
versus tasks that feel like a huge chore when they're not really like things like some of the stuff out here felt so big for some reason, you know? So in my mind, it was like, well, there's all this other like little stuff that I need to do. I need to pay bills and I need to, you know, write some emails back to some people and I need to, you know, I need to like tackle these smaller things. So I'll just tackle those smaller things. But when you haven't, when there's a task that you either have never done or you haven't done it in a long time, it's hard to like misconstrue in your head how long it's going to take and how big of a project it is, you know? No, I saw the tweet though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was good. It was funny shit. And then you started task thinking it won't take long at all. <laughs> yeah. That's the worst, right? When you're like, this won't take any time. Holy shit. When uh, Danny and Mel came to visit for Anime Expo, Danny and I were like, we just need to run by the bank. So let's just, let's just like run by the bank super fast. We were at the bank for like over an hour. <laughs> by the time we left, we were like, Jesus Christ, I'm starving. <laughs> I thought that was going to take like a minute. But we, but like, it took me a long time to not do that with things like dishes, right? Sorry, backing up. It took me a long time to not do that with things like dishes. Dishes, for whatever reason, I think a lot of people look at dishes and are like, this is going to take forever. This is such a huge job. When in reality, dishes take like maybe 10 minutes, right? <laughs> like they don't, dishes don't take that long to do. They just always, for some reason, feel like a huge huge job and I don't know why because I know so many people who feel that way like it's it's like a common feeling but dishes like aren't that big of a deal <laughs> right like folding up a load of laundry is not that big of a deal like those things don't take that long we just feel like they're gonna take fucking forever and I don't know why I don't know why that is why that happens to so many of us and maybe it's like a combination of I really just don't want to do it right like I just really hate doing dishes or I just really hate folding laundry I actually really enjoy folding laundry it feels very it like it satisfies like an organizational part of my brain to fold laundry and be like ah <laughs> ah it's all folded right um, so I actually enjoy doing that task, but, uh, I know like my sister, her entire life has hated laundry, hates it. Just is like, would rather just take everything out of the dryer, throw it on a surface and be like, cool. Next time I need a shirt, I know right where to go. Right? Like, I'm not going to fold this. I don't want to put it away. I just, I just need it clean. So I'll <laughs> just. I'll just grab from this pile, right? And maybe she's maybe she doesn't do that as much anymore. But I know that for a really long time that was like the MO. <laughs> just like it's clean and that's all I fucking care about. I don't wanna do I don't wanna mess with it anymore. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> I need to start blasting more metal when I'm doing chores. Yo, audiobooks are great for chores. Um some of those audiobooks that were recommended on the last co-optional, I really want to, I would love to download onto my phone if my phone had any space left. Here's the, here's the other, th look, I know we're bouncing all over the place. Here's the other thing about my phone constantly being like, there's no space on here. I can delete like minute long videos and it'll still be like, I don't know, dog, there's no space. You can't take a picture. There's no space. There's literally no space. I don't know what to tell you. And I'm like, there was a vi- I deleted a video! Like a decent sized video- Whatever. 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 Anyways, if my phone had the space. I really, uh, because I want to start taking walks with Clark more often, um, I really want to put a couple of those books on a device and take them with me on the walk. I think that would be really fun. You should do audiobooks. No, thank you. <laughs> if if I ever write my book, if I ever write my my fucking like farm wisdom adjacent book, um I would love to 
to do the like audio reading for that but do we have a pram yes we do our english fam bought it they insisted it was very sweet Dude, yeah. Anybody, that is so true. Anybody that has WhatsApp, um, WhatsApp is a piece of shit. <laughs> like, WhatsApp can take up so much space. Anytime somebody sends you a picture or a video or anything like that, it like holds onto it. It holds onto chat logs. It just like, it takes up a ton of room. So if you don't want it to be doing that stuff, you have to, you have to tell it not to. And for some reason I've told it before, like, don't save anything, anything people send me on WhatsApp, don't save it. And I'll still go into my pictures sometimes being like, where did all my space go? And there's like a bunch of, you know, videos of Nancy with her wisdom teeth out and shit. <laughs> I'm just like... I didn't want to save this on my phone. <laughs> Doesn't Instagram do that? Oh, Instagram. Instagram has it where once you take a picture, um, you can, you can like take a picture and then, um, <coughs> anything that you do to that picture will be saved as a separate file. So say that like in my normal, in normal camera mode, right? You like, I took a picture of my fucking water bottle. I don't know. And then I popped it into Instagram to be like, look, oh my gosh, it's a, the water bottle is the same color as Deku's costume. I don't know. Hashtag Boku no Hero, hashtag love. And any filter that I put on top of that, it would um, save that as a new file on your phone. So yeah, sometimes like maybe maybe you don't realize you have like technically duplicates of the same picture because one of them went through like the filtering system on Instagram. Can you insta that right meow? Only if literally all of you click the heart. <laughs> Only if literally all of you go follow me on Instagram and click the heart, okay? My Insta's dying. I haven't put anything on there in a long time. <laughs> um, I was talking with somebody about like brand deal stuff and they were like, yeah, everybody really wants Instagram things. And I was like, yeah, I noticed that. I've gotten a couple of brand deals that were entirely like Instagram. And they were like, yeah, so like, why aren't you <laughs> using yours? And I was like, I don't know. I have a baby. And the only thing I want to take pictures of is the baby, but I don't want to just inundate people with baby pictures. And I already said that I wouldn't because I didn't want to just, like, constantly put up pictures of my baby because, like, <sighs> <laughs> so I just don't do anything with my Instagram. I was thinking about, for the whole month of August, doing a, um, doing, like, a picture a day challenge specifically like a because because I'm deep in that mom life right um pretty much every day is like which sweatpants are closest what comfortable shirt is closest that's my outfit today right and I've been I've been thinking to myself like I need something to make me want to actually <laughs> like put some effort into myself because when I do I feel I feel better like I feel more energized for the day right um so I was thinking about doing like a like an August like outfit of the day challenge sort of a thing or something like that you know but I don't know if I could stick to it it's hard man you wake up and the baby's like I'm fucking hungry and you're like I got you you feed them and they're like but I'm still hungry and you're like but I only have I only have so much time before I need to go and do my thing and they're like but I'm still hungry and are you gonna just like let me starve what is this and you're like okay fine and then you feed them as much as they want and then they fall asleep in your lap and you're like cool they're asleep and then you try to set them down so that you can go about your life and then they wake up again and they're like I'm wide awake now <laughs> you're like I love you so much. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'm not saying that I won't still wear sweatpants. I'm just saying, like, put a little more effort in, you know? <laughs> Bathe more often. <laughs> Don't wear the same clothes three days in a row. I fake it pretty well on here, I think. <laughs> I just told my friend they have adorable ears. I misread their DM telling me they inherited their grandma's poor eyes. <laughs> so they were like, <laughs> they were like, oh man, my eyesight is really leaving me. And you were out of context. Like you have great ears. <laughs> That's actually amazing though. <laughs> Um, Miss SSB, thank you for the 11 months. Sea Dog, thank you for the three. Mata, thank you for the three as well. And Hanoniko Trash, thank you for the seven months. As someone who is very much at the top tier of Twitch, me? Thank you. That's very sweet. What are your top tips for TwitchCon? I'm going and I have very little idea of what to expect. Um, so TwitchCon every year has like the first couple of years, it was very much focused on the floor is entirely, you know, like, um, Twitch adjacent things like, um, booths for people who have something that would help with Twitch, you know, like very mechanical sort of things for streamers. Um, and then a few little, uh, a few panels here and there, right? So every year, the floor has sort of expanded into here are games that streamers might be interested in. Here's, um, you know, peripherals that streamers might be interested in. Here's clients that streamers might want to use to do better alerts and blah, blah, blah. Here's, um, you know, the creative area, the like artist alley of TwitchCon is entirely, you know, supposed to be creative streamers and that area has blown up every year. Um, so it's, it's super cool. It feels very much at, at this point, it feels very much like a normal convention, to be honest. Um, so yeah, it's, I don't, I don't think that you need to be feeling nervous in a I really don't know what to expect sort of way and maybe if you haven't gone to any conventions really like um it's it's gonna be a lot of things for you to do on the floor if you're interested in that and a lot of panels from streamers of all different types right <coughs> at this point there are so many panels that cover so many topics um so anybody who wants to go there for information, there's plenty of information to be had. Anybody who wants to go there to just like figure out, you know, what are the what are the top of the line things that I could maybe be looking into for my own stream, that is absolutely addressed there. Um, and if you just want to like meet streamers just walking around, that also absolutely happens because as another streamer, when I'm walking around, I'm like, oh, it's that guy. Oh fuck, it's that guy. Oh shit, it's that guy, right? Like you just, you see them everywhere. So um, yeah, TwitchCon is super fun and it has grown quite a lot every single year. So this year it might be even more intensive, you know? But I, I, th I thought that it was fun. Last year, um, oh my God, last year I was, I was pregnant. And that was rough. I don't know if I've told you guys this before. Last TwitchCon, I was on like constant panels. I agreed to do so much stuff and it was really fun. But um, uh, I actually had like a scare at TwitchCon because I was pushing myself way too hard. And I had to call my, um, my OB and be like, hey, here's what happened. Like, I'm kind of nervous what do you think I should do and she was like it's probably fine but now you know your limit like you can't do that much stuff it's your your body can't handle it right now and I was like okay so there was there was a panel that I was on at TwitchCon where I was sitting there like 
trying to be totally normal, but the whole time being like, fuck, 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 fuck. Like the whole time, (laughs) the whole time I was just like, oh God, (laughs) like a little bit terrified, but it wound up being fine. It was just like, that was my limit. I realized that was my limit. And the next day we were supposed to go to Disneyland for um, our friends, like, like dating anniversary. So that sucked. I had to call them and be like, I can't go. I'm, I can't like walk around for an entire day. Like I'm supposed to literally just stay in bed for a day now. And that had to, that had to coincide with me also being like, by the way, I'm pregnant. Please don't tell anybody. (laughs) Why do you do that? So, well, because in my mind, right. I was like, this is going to be fine. I'm literally just sitting on a panel and then sitting on a panel and then sitting on a panel. What I wasn't prepared for was how much walking was going to be involved in being at TwitchCon. Like the, um, the venue that they chose for TwitchCon last year, it was confusing where you were supposed to go, where you were supposed to be, like what entrances you were supposed to use for what it was a lot of walking, like a ton of walking. So that was what, that was the killer for me. And next time you know your limit. Yeah, n- next time I'll know. Don't walk a ton. You're not supposed to. <laughs> Is it basically the same as VidCon? I haven't been to VidCon in years, 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 years. So I don't know what VidCon is like anymore, honestly. I'm excited to go. I really want to use it as a way to grow professionally. I'm excited to see a bunch of friends going, but I also want to come away from the con with stuff that improves my stream or partnerships that grow my channel and networking is scary. I totally get it. I'm actually, I'm very bad at networking. I'm good at like meeting new friends, but I'm not great at networking. Does that make sense? And sometimes they go hand in hand. Sometimes they do not. (laughs) Sometimes you can meet somebody and have a fantastic interaction with them, but walk away knowing like that, that didn't create a situation where this person ever wants to work with me or, you know, it's, um, I'm, I'm good at making friends, I guess, but I'm not great at like (laughs) selling myself. Is that the right term? I'm not great at that. Like when I meet representatives for a company that I really want to work with, I'm not good at being like, here's why I'm excellent (laughs) and why you should totally want to work with me. But I can talk with them on like a casual basis very easily. So I've tried to be better at like translating that into how do we talk about business in a way that doesn't feel like forced and weird. I can't do it. Networking like always feels forced and weird. (laughs) Always. (laughs) Unless they're initiating. That's the weird thing is it's hard for me to feel like me initiating it isn't weird, despite the fact that them initiating it toward me doesn't feel weird, right? Like, like Sam has tried to explain to me, because Sam is much better at it than I am. Sam has tried to explain to me, you know, if, if you're, if the discussion is going in a way that is mutually beneficial, then you shouldn't feel weird about it, right? Right? Like they're going to be interested because it's beneficial to them in the same way that you would be interested because it's beneficial to you. But I just, I just can't in the moment. I can't think that way. (laughs) I'm just like, fuck, I feel weird. I feel weird. Can we talk about like something else? Ramen. What's your favorite ramen? You like that show you? Yeah, it's pretty good. (laughs) (laughs) Sam's a social butterfly. <laughs> uh, I'm much more of a, I'm much more of a like excitable personality with people than he is.
I had to present to the dean of my university and external company CEO and CMO at uni. And I was like, nope, Sam's great. He is. He's the best. I'm biased. But I think he's the best. I think that we complement each other very well. He's very good at things that I'm not very good at. Have you tried opening with the Itachi wrap? Holy shit. Guys, you know how sometimes people just have like a thing that they always wear to every convention so that people can find them easier? I'm just going to make an Akatsuki robe and I'm going to walk around in it. <laughs> and then when I need to <laughs> when I need to network, I'll be like, hold on. <clears throat> Itachi manga Q in the eyes. And they'll be like... <laughs> It'll work. I feel it. <laughs> I feel this. I feel this on a, on a really strong level. <laughs> Sold. <laughs> Dead man, thank you for the eight months. Foxy Chew, thank you for the 13. Avi, thank you for gifting a sub to Vigilant Shield. Vigilant Shield, welcome to the cat gang. And Dosukinu, thank you so much for the seven months. I got home in time for more of an awkward Frenchman saying mother. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> I was like me and then remembered that that was part of council i don't know what happened but i absolutely felt it <laughs> shut up and take my sponsor <laughs> it's like those um it's like those bait and switch goofs on like family guy or something i would do the entire rap and the person would look like they were completely uncomfortable and then they would say something along the lines of i Love it. <laughs> oh, shit. Have you tried Octopath Traveler yet? No, I still haven't. I did the I did the demos, but I haven't like played it. I've been on and off viewer since the YouTube days. I hope I get to see you at TwitchCon this year. Oh, thank you, Sean. I hope you have an amazing time there, whether I go or not. Um, Zetubo, thank you for the 22 months. And Dragoonia, thank you for the seven. <laughs> Greet all the fans that approach you with that rap. If they stay, you know they're your true fans. <laughs> I like the direction that this whole conversation has gone, to be honest. It was Sean. Thank you so much for subscribing, dude. Welcome to the cat gang. I appreciate it. Octopath is my favorite game now. I love everything about it. Art style, music, characters, everything. Man, that's big praise. <laughs> Sup, I'm Mash from Deluxe City. That should be my ringtone. At the holy shit, at the very least, that should be what plays when Jesse calls me. Yes. Yes, I like this. Yes, for sure. I just dashed out. What did I miss? Literally nothing important. <laughs> Literally nothing that matters in any universe. <laughs> I left for half an hour and I came back to absurdity. But like, what were you expecting though? You know, what were you, what, what was going to be different about the situation? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, it's 930. Jesus Lapidus. Let's play some council guys. I'm in a great mood today. Um, Andrew Detshanu, thank you so much for the 27 months. Okay. It's over there. Ba ba ba. Ba ba ba. Ba ba ba. Ba 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 ba. Ba ba ba. Ba ba ba. Ba 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 ba. Ba ba ba. Ba ba ba. Ba 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 ba.
Um, when I go to my game tab, this is what it looks like. <laughs> mm. <laughs> it's a good game. Fuck. All right. Well, I'll get rid of that. Uh, <laughs> Dust Council. Boop. Here we go. We've done it. It's all coming together. Um, hopefully this won't be loud. I guess we'll find out. It looks like it's loud as hell. I think that's still too loud. The council with Kaminari as the main character would make this game better. Probably equal levels of intelligence, if we're being real. Is this okay now? Or still loud? Should I leave if I haven't seen the other games? This is a very, very story-centric game. So, uh, maybe? <laughs> <laughs> if you intend on playing it, although um, this is one of those games where like it plays differently depending on you and how you've played it so far, but I think the the larger story elements are probably at least similar. So we are starting on episode three. There are two other episodes that we have already played. We are about to hit continue and hopefully get a recap, and then um, we'll try to fill in some of the extra blanks after that, I guess. So, we'll try to go over everything that happened last time. Okay? The only thing I can tell you is that Sarah had indeed changed. In your opinion, why would your mother remain in hiding over several weeks? You must leave me alone now. I have agreed to everything. Even to... But you do realize your mother will have to accept the consequences of her acts. I hope that your search will prove successful and bring Sarah back to us soon. I'll be leaving now because whatever it is you're up to, I do not want to know. Since then, we have become one and the same. We have officially erased the identity of my sister Emma. Emily Hillsborough. The woman with two faces. Everyone seems to be a little unnecessarily heated. Don't forget where you are, please. Wait, Emma was alive? I don't remember that. I don't remember that. Okay, so last time that we played, it was a lot of big puzzles to try and get information about what's going on with the guy who owns this manor. Um, we were still trying to find our mother, who uh, I believe that we found at the end. Um, basically, like in the end, we wound up in a crypt, and there was a dead body down there. And... What else? <laughs> we messed up a lot of interactions. So this game, the way that this game plays is you talk with people and you try to like have an interaction that is beneficial depending on what you are good at. So hold on. Depending on what we're good at and what sort of skills we have, we've gone for a, an occultist build. Um, depending on what we're good at, we have access to different sort of reactions to things. So there are some things that we literally can't interact with. There are some, um, like, uh, what is the word that I'm looking for? Conclusions that we literally can't come to because we just don't have the base of knowledge for it. So that's kind of the way that this game establishes its, um, its like player choice situation is the game will absolutely be different depending on what skills you have because you have to have some skills to do some things does that make sense 
Um, so, uh, every other character that is here, the whole game is based around us showing up trying to find our mother. Um, there are all kinds of like influential, big historical figures that are at this manor with the intention of sort of like talking through the big things that are happening in the world and how they can all benefit from them. Um, people like George Washington are here, Napoleon Bonaparte. Um, and so every character in this game has things that they are weak to and things that they are strong against. For example, someone um, might be weak to science because they just don't know anything about science, um, in which case... You know, us, like, rabbling off some scientific drivel will make them back down, right? Because they just don't, they don't know enough about it. Uh, but they might be very logical, so trying to out-logic them would be a bad idea, right? Everybody has their things that they are strong against and things that they are weak against. And those are predetermined. Those aren't, like, randomized. Those are entirely based on what character is what. Um, so... The last time that we played, I messed up, I think, every single interaction. <laughs> I, like, really hacked up on them. I did not do well. Uh, there was a lot of information that I didn't get out of people because I just wasn't, I wasn't, like, playing smart. Um, so, these are all things that I can read to improve skills. Linguistics? I... Oh, linguistics, right. Um, cannot be equipped. I need more of those pages. Okay. Um, and these are all of like my talents, my things that I'm just like naturally good at or have developed into a skill. Um, these things can happen in conversation so depending on how you treat a situation the game might be like oh you're actually very good at like psychological warfare right or oh you're kind of duplicitous um you said one thing earlier on in the game but now you're saying another thing so you're actually like pretty good at bluffing that kind of a thing so those are the sorts of traits that we see here um and uh yeah i guess hopefully What's going on in this game will be a little clearer once we start it, because I cannot. Okay, cool. Everybody isn't actually down here with us. We've just found the body. Don't move. Wait, I don't... So you've come at last. Easy. It's my mom. Let me turn around. Oh my god, mother, what has happened to you? Who are you? What? But, mother. Who are you? Uh -oh. It's me, Louis, your son. No, you lie. You won't catch me out like that. Louis. Louis isn't here. He obeys his mother. He would never have come here. Mother, I don't know what you've been through, but lower your arm, please. You think I was born yesterday, do you? But it won't work. I'm begging you. One day you will fall. Mother! Why are you here? Uh... Wait. Is this not working? There we go. Remember Alazif? I was sure. Where's the book, Mother? So that's what you want. Well, you will never find it. Emily died for that. Shit. Got into her. You are evil incarnate. Every word that comes out of your mouth is sharper than a razor blade. I don't wish you any harm. Really, Mother. It's me, Louis. Don't speak to me about him. You will never get him. Mother, stop torturing yourself. It really is me, Louis. How can I convince you? If you really are who you say you are, what was the saying I taught you? You've been telling it to me since I was three years old, Mother. How could I ever forget it? 
always keep your mind logical. And open. You knew it. You are smart. What? <laughs> You're getting me muddled up. Tell me, rather. Whose place were we at when I told you I was coming here? Mother, uh -oh. I really am your son. You can't trick me. We were in Paris. We were investigating an art dealer. His name? Fuck. Oh, shit. I just told you, you can't trick me. His name was Von Borschert. My God, everything is lost then. I refuse to believe it's really you, Louis. Otherwise, all this would be for nothing. Mother, I, I don't know what happened to you, but don't worry. Everything is going to be fine. I'm here for you and- No, I ordered you not to come with me. I received a letter and Lord Mortimer informed me of your disappearance. So I took the- No, no, no. It's not true. It's a nightmare. Don't tell me that. Have you spoken to him? Oh, shit. She's completely panicked because I spoke to Mortimer. It seems she's afraid of what he might have said to me about her. Did he speak to you? Don't believe it. I, I thought I'd meet him the moment I arrived, given the situation. But not at all. He didn't even bother to meet me in person. I imagine that Elizabeth was still here. <sighs> Very well. Logical and open, Louis. Since you arrived on the island, has anything strange happened to you? Depends on what you mean by strange. Like me having visions, for example? I knew it! It started! Oh, Hell, Louis, I just wish I... Yes, it's happened to me. Like when I was a boy, I find myself in someone Repetition else's body of the for the step? space of a dream. Have you ever dreamed of a different place to the one where you were sleeping without being able to explain it? No. But mother, don't worry. I'm not losing my mind. Everything is fine. You used to give me a concoction to calm me down when I was little. So, just make some for me once we get back home. Migraines? Loss of consciousness? Loss of control? No, no, rest assured. All is well. I promise you. What else? <laughs> the main dude still is not a great voice actor. Sorry, buddy. I hope you never see this. Um... Hmm. Personally? I think that you being missing for three days, and then me finding you underground, minus a hand, well, that qualifies as strange, don't you think? No, my hand is not important for the moment. If that's the only thing you've found that shocks you, then all is well. Now shut up and listen to me. We might still have a chance. Something of utmost importance is going to play out right here. What are you talking about? A conference, Why would she Louis? think I wasn't? I I'm should so confused. Think all Mortimer's guests have arrived by now, haven't they? Yes, they have. Since this morning. Perfect. The conference will be able to begin. You will attend this conference, and you must find out what Mortimer is up to. Don't trust him, Louis. Understood? Right. I'll do what you ask of me. But calm down, please, Mother. Louis, I made a mistake by coming here. We are in the lion's den. What do you mean? Mortimer, Holm, their guests. Watch what happens. Do you think it's normal that the representatives of the most powerful nations are here all on their own? Why is Minerva McGonagall else? in this game? On an island in the middle of nowhere in total secrecy? No, not really, but... Louis! They shape the world. They manipulate us. Everything is decided here and now. They create and break states, provoke wars, destitute governments, or decide who will be their leaders. Open your eyes! 
Nothing is impossible for them. They are capable of reaching everyone, wherever they may be. Through high society banquets, they model the future of us all. And it isn't at all an issue for them. And? What do you propose? It's time to act, my son. You will go to this conference and, from the inside, you'll do everything you can to prevent Mortimer's plan from going ahead smoothly. We can talk later. I'll explain everything. But why? Do as I say, Louis. It's of the utmost importance. Beware of Mortimer. He won't let anything stand in his way. You promised me that after- Yes, after. Go now. Yes, mother, I'm going, I'm going. One more thing, mother. Emily Hillsborough, Emma's sister, came to this island looking for her sister. She probably won't hesitate to take revenge and... It's the signal that the conference is starting, Louis. Don't be concerned about the Duchess. She's the last of our worries. That whole interaction was fucking weird, man. Right? I'm not the only one. We found a body. Who was that? Found a body. Apparently, they're not important. Found our mom. Our mom was like, you're definitely not my son. I guess because of witchcraft shit. She thinks somebody's pretending to be Louie. I don't know. Um, we said a lot of things to her that are not all that convincing that we are her son. But in the end, she was like super chill with us. I don't know. Worst Penguin EU, thank you for the 27 months. DHR Rodriguez, thank you for the 22. Will Wales, thank you so much for subscribing and becoming a new member of the Cat Gang. And Zephyrus1, thank you for the 25 months. Uh, how do I run? There we go. Oh my god. Is it just me? This? I feel so close. I feel too close to him. Is that weird? <laughs> just it just feels I just feel too close. Monsieur de Richet, you're the only one missing at the conference. Please join the guests. Where are we doing this shit? What's that say? Hmm. Not in here, I assume. Nope. Okay, I guess this way then. Right, like why are we so close? <laughs> There's the alchemical symbol of the earth on the lid. <laughs> Wouter. Royal Jelly. Have I not been in here before? Why is there so much shit for me to pick up? Oh no.
Okay. Hello, everyone. Oh my. Yo, this is some actual council shit that's about to happen. <laughs> it didn't sound like they were actual words. Coin. A box for me to put a key in, perhaps. A chest with a motif representing the alchemical symbol of water. Uh, sure. Ah, oh, son of the bitch. Are you quite sure? Is there not a little mistake somewhere? Yes, because she asked him at last, and he could not help answering. I was full of stuff. Can I not pick up the stuff that I didn't pick up from that box? She's not happy by design, is she? Devil's thorn. I'll keep it. Devil's thorn. I'll keep it. Okay, we've come all the way back around. Hello, everybody. My son, glad you're here. It seems Lord Mortimer's been waiting for you to arrive before beginning. What a pity your mother isn't here for the conference. Yes, a I pity. Hope, uh, I'll be able to see her before I leave. Uh, I still have a very important letter to give to her. Feeling all right, Louis? You look like you're miles away. Everything's fine. Don't worry. Lord Mortimer wants to talk to you, Louis. Don't make him wait. What if I do, though? What if I do make him wait? Cause fuck him, am I right? I don't know if you ever found what you were looking for in the garden, but Mortimer is waiting for you. I suggest you get a move on. You say it as if you were afraid of him. I sense that you have things you'd like to say, but something's holding you back. What is going <gasps> Psychology is his vulnerability. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Now I, I believed know. in him. I followed him to the best of my ability. I championed his ideas. Defended his decisions, and then, without even realizing it, I became lost. A siren song, Monsieur de Richet. You wake Monsieur up one morning, Richet. not knowing where you are, and you think about everything you've done for a man who wasn't even worth it. Damn! For a man who has no respect for you, who uses you, and who drops you as soon as he no longer needs you. Damn. For me, it's too late now. But you. You still have a choice. Damn, damn, damn. Don't respond to his call, sir. That was some hardcore shit. Oops. Good evening, gentlemen. Are we ready? The much awaited conference is about to begin? That is what we have all been waiting for. I believe that Lord Mortimer wishes to speak to you before it begins. You should go and see him. Boo. Are you quite sure? Sergeant Bike Destroyer, thank you for the four months. AMS, thank you for the 27. Ace Kev, thank you for the 23. UO, thank you so much for the three months. And Bannister, thank you for the 14. <gasps> Another bot do. Something that I can pick up? Oh, hey, look at that. Yuck, 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 yuck. Ah, Louis, I've been expecting you. Uh, thank you for joining us. You are We're about to begin so our conference. welcome. Let me explain what is at stake. Thank you kindly. But what do you expect of me exactly? 
My mother's the one who's supposed to attend, not me. That is indeed what was initially intended. Unfortunately, she still hasn't been found, and my guests can't stay here indefinitely. The conference must begin, and it would be truly beneficial to the Order to join in the project. Consequently, I would like you to replace her during her absence. What is at stake here is of the utmost importance. It's important that the French Order gets their say. And should you need any advice, don't worry. You are not alone, Louis. Very well. I accuse you of murder. Ha ha ha. In concrete terms, how do you organize your discussions? A conference is always organized the same way. There are two masters of ceremony who determine an important subject. You and Sir Gregory, I presume. Exactly. We shall be the masters of ceremony. It was our obligation to each bring to the table several guests in order to debate a subject. Once the debate is closed, a decision will be made by a vote of all the participants. I'm gonna fuck by this up vote. so bad. If the project is not agreed on by all, then it will be rejected. And neither of the two masters of ceremony have the right to vote. It's up to the guests alone to decide, Louis. In other words, us. Gregory and myself are merely the go-between. Finally, if the project is validated, each guest goes home and starts working to make it happen. It can take years. Can you give me a brief explanation of the aim of it all? Of course, Louis, I was coming to that. The aim of these meetings is to bring together the most influential people in order to think together about the future. I wonder why the Duchess the future is of there. Who? Of the world, Louis. Like representing our high society, is to steer maybe? The destiny or of our respective countries for the good of all, and to no longer suffer the random hazards of history. Can you give me an example of an event that was decided here before being implemented in the outside world? Well, take the French Revolution. It was decided right here, two years before its implementation in France. Concerning the case of the French Revolution, I wasn't invited. But as far as the American Revolution is concerned, Louis, I can testify that we planned it five years before implementing it, for example. Do you often hold this kind of society dinner? In general, once a year, but in actual fact, it tends to be events that dictate our gatherings. <laughs> How long have you been active? Oh, this tradition has more or less always existed, Louis. It has continued from generation to generation. Louis, let me keep you a moment. I would like to let you in on a secret before we begin. Oh. Because I'm going to need your assistance. Uh, you see, oh. the project I'm going to present concerns the territory of Louisiana in North America. It's currently Spanish territory, and I'm going to make the proposition to the assembly for it to become French. My idea is to increase the territory of the United States. The first stone of this vast project consists of getting Spain to cede Louisiana to France. Once it becomes French, France will hand it over to the United States, which will then allow them to double the size of their territory. And that's where you come in. France and the United States, hand in hand, two democracies illuminating the world. Lord Mortimer, I'm sure you're aware that Louisiana is hardly prime quality land. I wouldn't be exaggerating to call it marshland. How is acquiring land they won't know what to do with going to strengthen the United States? Think further, Louis. The United States won't stop there. Once they've acquired Louisiana, nothing will stop them. All they would have to do then is keep pushing toward the west to take the whole North American continent. So you intend to get rid of the Spanish? They are purely transitory. This is the settler's home. 
it is natural for them to want to develop their nation to become one of the greatest powers of this world. As for the Spanish, there are just a handful of them actually on site, and if need be, we'll see to it that they are sufficiently occupied in Europe so that their focus is not on the North American continent. Moreover, Spain really only cares about its colonies in South America. It's hardly my fault if they are not capable of seeing the potential in the North American territories. The concept of royalty is from bygone times. It is time to lead the way to democracy. Take a look at them. Apart from President Washington, they all belong to monarchies. Do you really think they won't resist? Of course they'll fight, fearful as they are of losing their precious privileges. But the world needs visionaries, like you, like your mother. It's a pity Sarah isn't here to see it. She only knew about a tiny part of the project. I hope I can count on you, Louis. It's time to start now. I must ask you to keep it to yourself for the time being. Hmm. Take a seat, follow the discussions. We'll have an opportunity to catch up later, and you'll be able to let me know your thoughts. Blast it, Mother. You didn't know about everything. This project is commendable. Why tell me to beware? Could you have gotten it wrong? He looks like he's wearing an incredible amount of mascara. <laughs> My friends, I propose we get started. You know, like when you put on mascara, and then you didn't wash your face, but then the next day you put on more mascara. That's how he looks. By the way, don't do that. Always wash your face. First of all, I would like to thank you for taking the time to come. The honor is ours, my lord. As per our custom, here we are all together to discuss the face of tomorrow's <laughs> world. Even though there may be certain tensions between our nations, I must ask you to keep an open mind. As Sarah de Richet is unable to be among us, please welcome Louis de Richet, who will represent the Golden Order and will vote on its behalf when the time comes. Welcome among us, Louis. Welcome, Monsieur I Richet. I hope he'll be more effective than his mother regarding the protection of the King of France. Damn. The order has proved particularly inefficient. Come, Manuel, you're not going to spoil our visit. The order's mission was not to protect King Louis XVI, as far as I am aware. We are talking about a king of divine blood, for goodness sake. It seemed obvious to me he needed protecting. If the Golden Order wants to pride itself on being an influential organization, it should have kept him alive. Thank you all. I am honored to be among you today. I will strive to represent the interests of the Order as best I can. Perhaps we may begin, Lord Mortimer. Certainly. I have a dream that our nations will continue to support each other. More now than ever before. Holy shit, he's a telepath. Dream that, for the sake of common good, we will do what it takes to ensure stability in the modern world. I have a dream that we shall lead by example and ensure that the American territory may remain in peace. Thank you for the thought, Lord Mortimer, but I don't see where you're leading. I'm coming to it, there Mr. We go. President. I need not remind you that North America is currently divided between the United States on the East Coast and Spain, which occupies the remaining two-thirds of the continent. Well, I propose that Spain cede the center of the continent to France, namely all of Louisiana. Louisiana? But, well, it is not for sale. Lord Mortimer, I sincerely hope I have not come all this way just to hear you ramble on about what Spain should and should not do. When we went to all the trouble of gaining the territory a few years ago, it was not just to lose it today. Have I made myself clear? What did I tell you, William? You speak of union, and yet here you are, about to tear us apart. Duke Manuel, I perfectly understand you. But rest assured, you will soon adore my proposition. You shall see. Well, since you give me the choice, my good fellow, allow me to doubt it. However, I am impatient to hear what Spain could possibly gain from the sale of Louisiana. I never spoke of a sale, my good fellow. What? But I do not understand. There is one more territory left to conquer, if I'm not mistaken, 
in the northwest. It is, of course, occupied by your notorious Indians, but... We shall soon be rid of the savages, so that is not the question. Duke, these savages, as you call them, were there before you. They are on their homeland. As much as the black people of Africa, Monsieur de Richet. That does not stop your dear France from massacring them and sending them like cattle to Mr. Washington's cotton plantations to provide him with cheap labor. So you keep your morals to yourself, if you please. Damn, Senor, I got slapped. I would just not then. like to be associated with that. The subject of black slaves in the United States of America is a complex subject, which we shall resolve at a future date. Come on, Washington. Sack up. Uh, the filthy swine? Who am I talking to? Who's a filthy swine here? <laughs> Yikes. Hmm. I don't know what these... These are not clear enough for me to know what I'm actually choosing. Except for France will soon no longer use slavery. Right? That's me, like, trying to fucking defend myself. Like, look, okay, France doesn't want slaves, maybe. But I don't know who the filthy swine is in this situation. And I don't know who challenge him is referring to. Yeah, we're supposed to be French. It's very silly. They give some characters accents and some characters no accent. <laughs> so far, there are two technically French characters who just have American accents. Who even knows? Manuel Godoy is the swine. Hmm. I'm not going to use my skill point. France is not without fault, but that doesn't take away Spain's responsibilities. You see, Native Americans are being subjected to a veritable ethnic cleansing. Europeans are colonizing their land so that it then belongs to them. The widespread evangelization of its inhabitants will soon eradicate a multitude of cultures. You've done the same thing in South America. How far will white people go? Reservations to pin them in like cattle? Total genocide? Come now, my friends. Let us not digress. Anyway, and these primitive people have no souls, Louis. We bring the good word to them in order to save them. You'll see. Colonization brings with it many benefits, too. Uh, excuse me. We murder a lot of people, feelings, but we save uh, a lot of souls. Continue. Duke Manuel, <laughs> I believe that Spain should cede Louisiana to France free of charge. This is utterly grotesque, Lord Mortimer. What a strange example you set for your young protege. Isn't that so, Monsieur de Richet? Do you understand anything of this proposition? Protect you from the Americans. Why would it protect them from the Americans? Fuck, I don't know enough about this shit to understand which answer would be better. It's because Americans want to fight. <laughs> Remember, 
your main rival in Europe is more likely to be England, who is plowing the seas right up your coastline. Hand over Louisiana to I France discovered an and immunity. make her a prime ally. But I Tom also Louis, injured myself. Spain and Great Britain are already allies and have nothing to gain by breaking their alliance. Even if I do agree, Duchess, the omnipresence of the English fleet in Atlantic waters does not particularly please me. I must say, William, I find your project mostly disfavors me. I thought you were my friend. And I am, Mr. President. That is why I'm doing everything in my power to calm your expansionist fervor. France, in Louisiana, should persuade you not to attempt anything to take the territory by force. Louisiana is a vast wetland where you would needlessly lose most of your troops. It would weaken you and offer certain nations the perfect opportunity to take back your famous United States. I am protecting you from yourself, George. Trust my friend. I understand. But with friends like you, sir, I certainly don't need any more enemies. Damn. I hope you know what you're doing. Huh. Am I imagining things, or does it look like Washington isn't aware of Mortimer's plan? Not to put too fine a point on it, Lord Mortimer, uh, but I doubt the Holy See would be in favor of Catholic Louisiana being handed over to secular revolutionaries and king killers. I should think Monsieur de Richet has an opinion on this subject, does he not? <laughs> it doesn't always benefit you to use a skill. Maps of Italy I saw in Mortimer's secret study, he had anticipated movements of troops across Italy. I wouldn't be surprised if he's planning an invasion of Italy by France, and if I push the notion a bit further, I can well imagine that Bonaparte's cannons, financed by the order, will be used for that purpose. The noose is tightening around poor Piaggi's neck without him even realizing it. I don't know if I'm the best person to speak about that, Your Eminence. Italy pourrait. I don't know what that means. What does that mean? Somebody can read that. <laughs> but show. I could look it up. But we have an international viewership here. Italy could get invaded. I don't think I want to say that. I would be shocked if Mortimer didn't know Italian. Or French, I mean. Honestly, Your Eminence, I really don't see it that way. Mi auguro che insegnerete l'educazione a questo giovanotto presuntuoso, Sir Gregory. I hope that you will teach this pretentious young man some manners, Sir Gregory. It looks like I won't be just making friends here. In any case, my lord, I doubt the English crown will agree. Mm, another telepath. Emily, Fuck. The room is filled with them. I assure you, Emily, the Prussian will never accept this agreement. Volman looks like he's set on ruining Mortimer's plan. 
Duchess, I am persuaded that we shall find a common ground. That's enough, William. These are grave times. We don't care about the fate of Louisiana. That worthless expanse of putrid swamps interests no one but yourself. Speak for yourself, my friend. Hold on there, Mr. Royal Gigolo. Lower the volume and let Sir Gregory finish. The German is awful, is it? Holm, the Doy, and now Volner? Mortimer's adversaries are ready to tear each other to pieces, and he takes a malicious pleasure in watching it happen. How dare Gentlemen, you! Gentlemen, let us try to remain calm. There you are, William. See where your projects have taken us, as per usual. Chaos! That's enough. I'm tired. We shall continue this discussion tomorrow, but please be aware that your project will never be ratified. What? We no, barely talked about it. Project, this boy's like, me. I need to go back to the restroom and work on my makeup. Are we you will coming continue with us, this tomorrow. Come, Gregory, I think Louis would rather stay. Wouldn't you, Louis? I want to know. Assist? What does assist mean in this situation? What will assistance do for these people? I want to stay with Mortimer. I want to find out more information. As for me, I think I shall remain with Lord Mortimer, Sir Gregory. You are committing a grave error, Louis. Time will tell. Hmm. My friends, I would like to thank you for staying. Good God, William. What is this I hear about you reinforcing military power in Louisiana? I have no interest in having France for a neighbor, and you know that very well. Calm down, George. Louis, explain our plan to Mr. Washington, please. Does he actually want me to explain it? You see, Mr. President, Lord Mortimer anticipates that once France obtains Louisiana, they will cede it to you. What do you mean? To us? The United States? You heard right. But I... President Washington, the United States will double in size. By what miracle have you... You need to expand, George. You and France are the two major democracies in the modern world. It is necessary that you both become superpowers. Are you really going to sponsor democracy throughout the world? Of course, Monsieur Peru. That's why I don't want Spain to get too attached to those weapons. Uh, please continue, Louis. Explain my vision to Mr. President. Why does it matter which one I choose? Mr. President, Lord Mortimer intends for you to conquer all the North American continent. He's relying on you to not stop at Louisiana, but to continue to push west. Indeed, it would be dishonest to pretend that this is not my final objective. But why didn't you tell me before? So that Lord Mortimer would appear to be isolated without support. Exactly. You got it, Louis. Lord Mortimer retains the advantage by advancing under cover. And for it to work, he needed you to act surprised. William, you haven't changed. Always one step ahead. One step ahead? You're joking. More like five. On that note, my friends, it's getting late. Mr. President, continue to take offense over my project when we resume the conference in the morning. You do it to a T. And if Sir Gregory has the audacity to send you an emissary to convince you to go against me, do me a favor. String him along if you can. The more they believe we are divided, the more we'll have our hands free. 
only too happy to oblige. There are three now, French boys here. Rest. We've got a big and day one American tomorrow. boy. Good night, gentlemen. Good night. And everybody else is like, fuck Luke, this plan. You have a minute. I would like to ask a favor of you. I'm going to require your services. How can I be of help? Tell me all about it. Our adversaries are many, and the closing vote of the conference will soon be upon us. Time is of an essence. So, I'll need you to assist me this evening. And how can I help? I need you to go this very evening to persuade Senor Godoy to join us. He is the backbone of Gregory's resistance. Turn him round, and all the others will follow in such a stampede that Gregory will be able to do nothing but admit defeat. Lord Mortimer, with all due respect, don't you think I'm the last person Godoy wants to talk to? I'm sure you can do it. I believe in you. He's hiding something from me? Like Mortimer is? Or Godoy is? Lord Mortimer, you're not telling me everything. Let's say I wouldn't disapprove if the right honorable, though nonetheless choleric, Duke Manuel put you in his bad books. If it could motivate him to declare war on France, it would greatly serve our interests. War? What do you mean? I told you before the conference. The more we distract Spain from the Americas, the less it will have an eye on Louisiana. But all the same, we're talking about a war in Europe. Don't worry. That's why Mr. Bonaparte is with us. I am convinced we'll be perfectly capable of managing the conflict. His face just did and something weird, Godoy right? That wasn't just me. Not a great soldier. He will not commit Spain to a long war that he won't be capable of managing. I'll go straight away. Thank you, my boy. And get some rest afterwards. Big day tomorrow. Is there any new shit around here? Uh, I think I've read both of those. I think. I want to talk to my best boy, Napoleon. But the game doesn't want me to, so... Whatever. Oops. Hmm. I have to go to the bathroom. Do you guys want to take a quick break? Ooh. I could use some deodorant. <laughs> Side note. Um, let's take a quick break. Go to the bathroom. Put in deodorant if you need it like I do. And uh, we will be back. We're going to continue listening to some of this new Zelda album. So should be good shit. Enjoy. I'll see you in just a sec. Oh, my. Welcome back, everybody. How was your break? How did it go? Super well. Slightly well. Amazing. Or bad. I hope not bad. If it was a bad break, somehow. If somehow you had a really bad break. Let's put our thing down, flip it, and reverse it, and go back to the good times. Uh, Tux Lafitte, thank you so much for the seven months. A Thermal Brockle Bank, thank you so much for the five. I am Lolcats, thank you so much for the biddies. Plium, thank you for the five months. Unleashed Enlightenment, thank you for the two years. Happy anniversary, thank you so much for all of that. Uh, Visibil, thank you so much for the three months. And Diesel Bob, thank you for the biddies. When Dodger streams, you gotta watch. Hope everyone has a great day slash night. Thank you, Visibil. You have to say it backwards now? It's your flip it zip it's whip, yep. Come on. It's your flip it zip it's whip, yep. Come on. If you got a big elephant, let me search it. Find out how hard I gotta work it. It's your flippy sippy web. Yep, come on. 
<laughs> it's your flip and dip is web yep come on you're welcome Ahem. All right, let's do this shit. What is going on? Help. <laughs> Shout out to everybody who somehow doesn't know that song. And is just like lost in a new world right now. Let me search it. Find out how hard I gotta work it. Oh. Hey, Peru's name tag's fallen off, and his door is ajar. Hey, what's going on in here? A pattern with four circles. Hmm. Don't have a Yave. Nice for this. decor for a revolutionary tribunal judge's room. A cash. A cash. A singular solitary cash. My dear little Eleanor, I wanted to share with you my calmer thoughts of the moment. Needless to say, how much I miss you and how much I regret having to be separated from you. I know you will be virtuous, courageous, and safe with your sister, Marie Ellen. Uh, I will never be able to mend my mistakes, but I do know now how to save you from their consequences once and for all. Be always assured of my fatherly devotion and affection, never doubt it, come what may. You must know that everything will turn out for the best now. I'm determined to protect you, whatever the price I have to pay, and so be confident and serene in times of ordeal. With all my love, your ever proud father. Aww. Monsieur Peru, where are you? Boy. Maybe he's just messy. <laughs> We're like, oh no, he's dead. And he's like, hey guys, what's up? How goes? Hey, a key to a thing. That I was gonna use a point on to unlock for no reason. A pattern with four circles. Use the key. Use the key. Use the key. Oh. And some letters. Dear what? Monsieur Peru, I'm writing to thank you for the funds you sent. These funds will be crucial for the renovation of the western wing of the orphanage. Oh, the children no. you sent are doing marvelously well, and little Pierre will soon be walking. Some of them still sometimes suffer nightmares about their parents on the scaffold, but I expect they will cease in due course. Should you decide to send us more, Please note that another 20 beds will soon be ready. The children and myself will never thank you enough. Long live the Republic. Long live France. Sister Marie Allen. Oh, space lift. I'll retrieve it later. No. He's a he's a big gruff boy. He's a good boy. Oh no, he's a good boy. My heart. Um. <laughs> Miharu Mew, thank you for the four months. Genie, thank you for the 38. That Missy Elliott hype, right? It's your fripp a wep yep Groda, thank you for the 11 months. Pylezer, thank you so much for subscribing and becoming a new member of the cat gang. Burdish, thank you so much for the biddies. And Roche on the bunny, thank you for the 14 months. This guy's super dead. I hope not. Oh no. Hi buddy, what's uh what's going on? Leave me, Dorice. I don't feel like talking. Your door was ajar, and given the state of your room, I I was worried. It's none of your business. Very well. 
I'll leave you then. See you tomorrow, monsieur. What? What? What do you mean? What do you mean it's none of my business? I was worried about you, you bitch. Whose room is this? Where am I? Is this my room? No. My dear Napoleon. As oh, this is Napoleon's room. Like it's apparently still unlocked us for us. In January, on my island, to participate in the high society meeting organized for the occasion. We shall be able to continue our discussion about our project for a new order for France. I have a proposition to make to you concerning your wish to put a strong leader at the head of France. I trust you to be discreet as to your coming. See you soon. Lord William Mortimer. Love, Willie. Amber crystals. Amber crystals. Who else's rooms can I break into? What we got going over here? No. What about over here? No. No, I think it was just telling me that I could talk to him if I wanted. This guy is a klepto? Who do you mean? Definitely not. Moi. Napoleon Bonaparte. <gasps> the fuck it sounded like somebody just knocked on a door. Oh my, what are we doing here? Ah, huh? Monsieur de Richet. Uh, you wouldn't have seen Duke Manuel by any chance, would you? I was going to ask you the same question. I wanted to speak to him, but no one will open the door. I'm not sure he's in there. If I want to pass through, I'll have to get Volner out of the way. Hmm. I've searched all over the manor, but I can't find him. One thing's for sure, Monsieur de Richet. He's neither in his room nor on this floor. I've just looked all over. I propose we both look for him. The first to find him tells the Duke that the other is also looking for him. Agreed? Perfect. Let's do that. I shall have a look in the library. If you find the Duke before me, tell him I want to speak to him. Yes. Let's proceed as you say. Thank you, Monsieur de Richet. Ho ho. Right. Now be My sister just gave birth. Go look somewhere else. <gasps> oh. Dharma kitty. Tell her congrats. Why didn't Hmm, whatever. Hell yeah. Worth it. He with the air symbol, huh? Mary Louise of Parma. <laughs> How ironic having a painting of the Queen of Spain in one's room, my lord duke.
Hmm. It looks like someone's hidden something on the back of this painting. It's a letter. Of course, it's written in Spanish. It, it reeks of lavender. Well, well, Mr. Godoy. You seem very interested in hiding this letter. Another secret romance, I presume? Ah! Fuck, I want to know. But I don't want to use all of my fingers on this. Here's the information obtained by our intelligence service. I can confirm that Mr. Hay is indeed working on an agreement with Great Britain. The aim seems to be to weaken the French economy and secretly that of the Spanish by seizing merchandise at sea. Our treasuries are already suffering from the embargo on French food products. Such a treaty would mean the ruin of our colonies. I have no doubt you'll be able to swiftly find a diplomatic solution. Manuel Godoy, a painting of himself in his room. Now that's not going to help him develop a sense of modesty. Where's royal jelly again? Right. Um... I mean, I might as well, and then pick this up, right? I should be doing that any time I can't Don pick Quixote. up. Don Quixote. Talking without Real thinking jelly. is like shooting without taking aim. Hmm. I'm gonna have to think about that one. Got a little tub next to his bed. That's the fucking life right there. Just being like, all right, I'm gonna take a bath and then I'm gonna literally roll into my bed. Fragment of amber. Fragment of amber. No bless of the sword. Displays immunities, right. Okay. Fuck. Mary Louise of Parma. How ironic having a painting of the Queen of Spain in one's room, my Lord Duke. Hmm. It looks like someone's I'm hidden just gonna something do on the it. back of this painting. I don't use these it's items enough. Of course, it's written in Spanish. It, it reeks of lavender. Well, well, Mr. Godoy. You seem very interested in hiding this letter. Another secret romance, I presume? So, let's see what it says. My tender Pepita, I feel so guilty at being so far from you again, even if it's for the good of my country. I feel awful at having to leave you after a silly spat. You're the only woman I love, Josepha, forever. I told you before, everything I have, everything I can offer you, I owe to the affection of the queen. Let's stay united, please, even in sacrifice for the two of us and for our future children. Stop being jealous. You're the only one who fills my thoughts. Everything else is just a game, I swear. It seems that the queen isn't the only mm. one enjoying the Lord Duke's favors. Mm. If the queen found out, it would cost him dearly. I'll keep it with me. You never know. Oh, shit. <laughs> over here, right? Okay. Oh, wait. I didn't... Uh, hold on. Just kidding. Lol! Hmm. I can't go 
about those doors. Okay. Just wanted to make sure, lol. Sorry, give me just a second. I will be right back. Okay, guys, hi. Um, so there is something that I totally forgot to do. Like, it was something really important that I really need to go and do. So I'm actually going to end the stream here. I'm so sorry. Um, let me bring up our list of new subs. I just got an email and was like, oh, shit. <laughs> Really sucks. I'm so sorry. Um, we will absolutely finish this. Um, maybe tomorrow morning before co-optional. I don't know. Think about it. Um, let's see. Boop, boop, boop. Thank you so much to our new subscribers, to IOSFE, Tyke of the Tank, The Bink Live, Me909388, Syndrax42, Rafid, Buttsack, Rugalo, Wild Goose Chase, Mendler, uh, Lee, K. Cole, Anthem, Tux Lafitte, JCB, CZ Cosmic, Golden Gif, Polymorph Lolly, Kim Dead, Impento, Major, J03, Mr. Kves, uh, Trid Bites, Cyber Trouble, Lane, Hanoniko Trash, It Was Sean, Zechubo, Dragoonia, Vigilant Shield, Will Wales, Zephyrus One, Sergeant Bike Destroyer, Lady C, Nutch, Pileser, Wardo, and Funny Noob. Thank you guys so much. I super appreciate it. I'm really sorry about having to end this way. Oh my gosh, I feel so dumb. But um, maybe we can finish this tomorrow before co-optional and if not i will see you guys on wednesday and we'll do it then um but yeah i will be on co-optional and we will have super cousin time tomorrow as per usual. so i'll see you guys for those okay thank you bye bye